So we're here at the train station and it's due in about three minutes and the trains in Jakarta are pretty good for timekeeping and we're going to go to Chinatown. Now we've been to another Chinatown but we didn't go to the main bit and apparently this one in Jakarta, Glodok, is the biggest Chinatown in the whole of Indonesia and one of the biggest in Asia. So that's what we're going to do. I'll see you in the Enjoying the train journey? It's not bad. At least there's good AC. We're getting a few stairs, a few teenage girls there. Some guy trying to take a video of us down the road, down there. But uh, just one of the uh, typical experiences on a Jakarta train. So, I'm trying to organize a and negotiations are going very well because no one's got a clue where we want to go. Block A. But look, this is what you get outside Station Tanah Abang. Negotiations complete. Five minute journey. No, oh, I hate them with these guys. 30,000, well over the odds. 30,000 rupiah. Well, we made it. And it took about three minutes. And look, hark, the temple is closed because foolishly we've come here on the day of the Eid celebrations. But anyway, you can still see it. Hang on, that's a restaurant. <laughs> that's not a temple. That straight ahead looks more like the temple. Oh, I can see a little kitten. Can you see it? Do you see it? This is a proper cat alley. You look a bit mean. Street cats. Here we are, and it's called the Hok Teng Cheng Sin Temple. This is the back They are good bats, aren't they? Top tip, don't come to Chinatown to see the hustle and bustle on a public holiday because everything's the bloody closed. If you don't like crowds and the hustle and bustle, it's a perfect day to come. Oh, look at oh, We're just walking down derelict looking alleyways. Ooh. So Celine stopped there because um, she said an insect flew down. So she's trying to sort that out while I bravely walk on. Right, look at this behind me. It is absolutely disgusting. Look at that. That is horrible. This is the grim side of Jakarta. <laughs> Given up on the temple, can't find a way to it. So instead we're going to walk to this place, which looks a bit more populated. But this doesn't look like Chinatown to me. This still looks like just normal Jakarta but an actual worse version of it. Nice snacks for someone. I don't know where we are. This doesn't... I don't think we're in Chinatown. This is just Jakarta, but actually uh, 
a really bad version of it compared to even normal Jakarta. So yeah, that's what we're doing. So yeah, if you want to come to one of the worst places in Jakarta, then get the train to Tanatabang, walk about 10 minutes, well actually get a tuk-tuk for three minutes, got that Chinese temple, and then you're there. So that's what this video is, visiting possibly the worst place we've been to in Jakarta. Here it is. Feast your eyes. If you want to see concrete beams, this is your place. So Celine, what do you what do you think of this this area of Jakarta? For being deemed the what was it the largest Chinatown in Asia? I'm not Asia? convinced we're in the right place though. This might not be the Chinatown. This just looks like this video is now called the worst place in Jakarta. Yeah, it's just, it's like really dirty, like lots of rubbish. There's beggars everywhere. It's actually really sad. Really sad. And there's nothing to see. There's nothing to see. Apart from a police little hut that you can climb up and look at the traffic. It actually feels a bit dodgy. There's the textile museum which sounds boring as hell. There is just this building overpass which looks disgusting. And that's where we're heading. Guess what? We're back where we started. At the closed Chinese restaurant. Right, we're gonna go now to Fatahilla Square, the main square, which is a nice part of Jakarta. Do you know what? Maybe things will look better from above because we've got to climb up this contraption to cross. Let's get a bird's eye view of this part of Jakarta. Hello. <laughs> nope. But it's so nice up here from this high position with the, the bottles and the wires and the graffiti. Oh my God. I think that bridge is like the border between the worst place in Jakarta and just a normal place. Midpoint, yeah, midpoint. This looks all right now. Literally just, just crossing the bridge. Right. Wow, we survived. I reckon we got approached by five or six beggars. Uh, one of them was playing some sort of, he had, a, he had a bag with like a ghetto blaster beat, beatbox in it, playing this weird music. You might have heard it in the video earlier. Um, and he was with a woman who had an empty washing powder bag and she was obviously wanting some money from that but that was the biggest there. But others didn't Hello. have anything and they were literally just walking up and pulling out their hands. Yeah. Right, we've actually come now to Glodok, Chinatown. We were in the wrong place before. So back in the day when it was Dutch colonial um, they brought in a load of people to work in this area and a lot of them were Chinese people and they set up shops and workshops and stuff like that and they started to outnumber the Dutch people so they got a bit scared and there was an uprising at one point with the Chinese people uh, and they killed a few Dutch soldiers so in retaliation they killed 10,000 Chinese settlers and then they moved the people out of the main central bit into this area and that's how Glodok, this part of the world, this part of Jakarta became full of Chinese people. And behind you, there's a Chinese dragon. I am not joking. There is a Chinese dragon. Hello. You didn't believe me, did you? Made it. Fatahilla Square. Been here before. Check out the other videos. But there's our destination, Cafe Batavia. But yeah, 
This is the nice part of Jakarta. This is in direct contrast to that place that we were in before. So we've just been for a meal in Cafe Batavia. It was all right, wasn't it? Yes. I tried a new drink that I liked. Yeah, sparkling wine. French 175. Um, so that is it, another trip to Jakarta. Oh, we've seen some of the, the nice parts and the not so nice, the parts. Not so nice parts. See you next time. Gotta take the good with the bad.